<laughs> it's been very emotional, but, but very rewarding. And, and you know, we're turning our attention to, to what's coming next. Okay. Um, let's go back. Let's go back from the start that day when we when you arrived at the stadium. Um, like the, like the one, like what was your feeling? What was you thinking? Was you thinking that we was gonna he's got a draw, a victory? What what was your thoughts? Um, my main thoughts at the time when we first ran into the stadium, it was if we perform to the level that we know we can perform at. And I think it, it was it would be a victory for us. I didn't I won't say it was, was gonna be a comfortable victory, but it was gonna be a victory for us just for the fact that, you know, thinking about our lay record that we have had, um, it hasn't been too good. And you know, those those sort of things were going through my mind and uh, but I knew if we performed uh, on the day then we were going to cause them problems. And, um, you know, us going over, watching their tapes and, and watching them play, especially their last match, I, I think they were the type of team that can play up to someone's level. Mm -hmm. But if, I guess they feel that they may be the better team, then may go into it a little lackadaisy sort of and, and uh, in the end we were pleased so going into the match this was some of my thoughts well I know some people that were at the stadium we saw you actually started the game off in the stands um, and it kicked off you were in the stands well, and then later on when I got to, when they scored you ended up on the in the tackle area like, what was your thoughts when they scored yeah, I mean, I, I've recently I've been starting in the stands, so it gets me, gets a chance for myself to, to look at, you know, bigger picture. You can see the game better from in the stands than down on the touchline. And um, I, what I saw from up top is that we started the game really, really well. Um, I mean, in saying that, we go a girl behind after, what, two, three minutes. And, uh, but that was more of a, you know, uh, I don't think the player can do that again. Hmm. You know, hit it from that angle and, and go in. Uh, no blame on our keeper. You think when you first see it, you know, Dale's, you think, oh, how's he got beaten from there? But the ball was so high coming down, and I think he was in the right position from when, when, the, when their player had the shot. Yeah, what about you, um, tackle director, uh, Mr. Lowe? What was your thoughts when you first go to school? Well, you can see that the response from the team was immediate. So in our training um, tour and our conversations up into the game, you know, we didn't, we didn't have not one day where everything went exactly according to plan. Um, so we were prepared for obstacles and setbacks as they arose and you saw the response from the team was, was immediate. Um, no one put their heads down, everyone just stayed to the task at hand and you know we had, I mean, this real confidence, a belief mm -hmm. in us that, you know, that we would be victorious on the day. So you know, here it is another obstacle, we'll get over this obstacle and, and continue with our plan towards victory. So, we go in halftime, one all. What, what was the words that you said to the players? Uh, yeah, going in at halftime, one all. Um, we just asked for our defensive line to start a little higher. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt that we were, or the older coaching staff felt that the, the players were, we were, our starting uh, line from the, from the attack was a little deep, deeper than we would have liked. So uh, once we pushed up a little bit more, it, it put pressure on, especially their number two, who um, was probably their weakest 
play a plane out of the back. And um, we, we managed to, you know, score a goal from two of his mistakes, basically, um, second half. And uh, when you really look at the goals, and number two had a part in, in both of those goals. Um, so that was one thing that was, was, was said. And, you know, to can we give, I, we asked for, you know, I think it was a, another 20% from everyone. Just give us that little bit more. And, um, you know, in, in the end, they, they stepped it up. And um, really, second half, um, I, they didn't have any chances. I don't think they had a shot on, on goal all game. It was it was a no worrying moments in the game where you think they had long spells and they were boxing us in. And if they got a corner or two, it didn't really monk to anything. So mm -hmm. um, halftime was you know more of encouragement and just just um, you know making a few points. Um, Mr. Lowe, what, what you told me like going down to when we equalized and the go ahead goal and then the dark goal. Like, what was what was your outcome? What, what was you thinking about? Vince got antsy. He was thinking about hurry up and let's get this final whistle over with so, so, so we can leave her with with the the victory. Um, yeah, but at that point, us as coaches, us as a staff, we were talking about shoring up our team in, in critical areas um, to make sure that you know we weren't leaving ourselves susceptible to to any goals I mean so you know at three one up um, we, we could be quietly confident um, but we needed to make sure that we didn't become complacent and that we kept playing well um, so that we can see the game up to to its end mm -hmm. what about you Kyle um when you saw the dark girl go, go, go in. Yeah, when the dark girl went in, um, I think we, I'm not sure if we had made all, no, we, we, I don't think we had made all three subs and it was a, a situation of, you know, we knew Zico was tired and he gave us the word that, um, you know, he was feeling it a little bit and uh, we had a decision to make on bringing on uh, more of a, uh, I would say Sequoia can be a defensive player at times, his experience, and we just had a little discussion, and, you know, in the end we came up with, with, with bringing Sequoia on. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was times in the game when I go back when it was 1-1, one, one, you know, I think we made a very good um, decisive decision because Maurice and myself, we have talked about this on many occasions. Like we think about the subs, and if we wait too long, and then something happens, and we miss that chance, so that's something that, from experience, from us being together as a group, we made that decision, and you know, with Roger, and not that Roger was having a bad game, it was that they were trying to get one of our players sent off. And Roger was a target for them because he had a yellow card. And the position that he plays and what we were asking him to do is to, to be an enforcer, uh, to break up the play. So he couldn't afford to, to miss time another challenge. And, you know, I think the first challenge that he ran in at halftime, right after halftime, I think it could have been five minutes into the second half. And, you know, the players got all around the referee, so we made that decision right away to to take them off. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was that was key because we couldn't afford to to play with Taylor Mann in that match. Yeah.